What's up, guys? We're in raid. We have shifted over. Uh, actually, I still have FIFA Mobile running in the background. Um, how did I get a billion coins in FIFA Mobile? Uh, it, and it literally took just like a couple of weeks to do it. Um, we're not fussed about clan versus clan. Thank God. Because... Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm struggling to put any effort in it because I don't have the resources going all in on, uh, who is it? I think I can, I've got four of these ready, two not yet ready. Boom, go on raid, get four. Let's go ahead and fuse one of them if we can. Right, so who are we pulling in? Slowly working towards Scarhide. I use him. He's in my clan boss team. Maroka? The hell? What does she bring? Decrease speed. Revive on death for two turns. Increases their defense by 2.5. Stacks up to 20%. Damn. If I needed... Um, I don't know where I'm at with orcs. That's one of the things I need to look at. Let's make sure she's locked. Damn it. Locked. All right, orcs. Still need to do some upgrades. We'll go ahead and do that. How many rares do I have? I had six. I have six. I don't, I haven't, I think I've done everything. I don't think I've missed anything. I haven't packed anything. I haven't looked at the calendar either, though, to see where I'm at. I was going to wait, but let's just go ahead and upgrade these so we can kin it up. You're going to keep one and fuse the epic. Yeah, I'm, I can't not do a fusion. If it's possible, I'm going to do it. We can go ahead and send it. You only have one. Did you miss a bunch? It, it's tough in the beginning until you have an overabundance of resources. Once you've been playing for a while, you you won't have any problems. Tiny bit bored. Finish everything. Um, I uh, it's that clan versus clan lull until the next. Until the fusion picks back up. 
we're in that we're in the calm before the storm right now just because of clan versus clan You're so new to the game, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Um, I, I think I kind of wanted to put a video together, like a short video of when, like what stuff unlocks, like what you can look forward to. I need to figure out what everything is. Cole... Um, here in a second, we'll take a look at everything. Jacob, thanks for the follow. Level 40 for instant upgrades. That's the one that, uh, that's the one that when you're running those referral accounts, that's the one that takes forever to get. It's trying to do the upgrades before instant upgrades unlocks is awful. It is so awful. Uh... All right, we could do these, these three, we could go ahead and set them up to train may as well and then we'll talk about it for a second while these guys are running in the background i don't want three six where they at one two three Boom. Okay, so huh, once you start out and you're into the very first opening portion of the game, uh, the, the main thing you should be focused on is simply maxing out whoever you have free as high as you can. Did, did Rhonda end? Is Rhonda gone or can we... Still claim Rhonda. I can't. I know it's in February, but I don't remember what the date is. She's still going. If you can claim Rhonda Rousey, if you can get Rhonda in, get her in, and uh, as a legendary, it's th she's better than any of. Um, the the starting champions most people start with kale because he's the best starter but i would focus everything on everything on ronda the mistake a lot of people make me included is in the very first stages of the game you're gonna open people up you're gonna pack people and you're going to want to use them because they're a little bit better than where you were before. But you're going to end up wasting a lot of resources on players that eventually you'll probably have nothing to do with. Uh, it's so much better to put everything in unless you, you pack somebody that you feel is going to be mid game or higher uh as a beginner can collect ronda yes you collect ronda after playing for like was it seven days five or six days something like that you end up with a legendary for free and then you start training that legendary put anybody that you claim that's a rare or um if you have questions on them if they're like let's say on the ranking level if they're below three and a half stars don't 
don't do anything with them other than use them as food to build Rhonda. The first thing you need is one champion at level 60. You need to get one person to level 60. And then once you have them there and maxed out, use your first 800 gems to max out that person's masteries and put all of your coins and everything into gearing that one champ. You want to focus on lifesteal and you'll get your lifesteal from dragon. Uh, you want lifesteal and then something else. Get six decent pieces of gear on that one champion so that you can build a campaign farmer. And then once you have that level 60 champ, you start working your way through all of the campaigns, training additional food as you go. And after that, only after that one champ is at 60, do you start building your other players? Uh, that's the biggest thing that people don't. Um, they it's really it's tough though. I will say it's really difficult. You end up, you'll you open somebody up or you'll get somebody and you're like oh, I could use them, I, you know faction wars. I can put them in faction wars or I need another champion for my my arena team or uh, I need something for you know tag team. It it doesn't benefit you in the long run to to waste resources on a player that's not or a champion that's not going to do much for. And if, if it's somebody that you want, like you would eventually use, like let's say you get lucky and um, which one do you take to 60? Rhonda. Take Rhonda to 60. Stop messing with Kale. Don't. Okay, here's, here's another thing. Kale is a good champion. Uh, Kale is a good champion. You don't want to train Kale into Rhonda and lose him. Just don't waste your resources on Kale yet. Like you'll keep Kale, but you want Ronda to 60 first. Once Ronda's at 60, then you start training up Kale or whoever else you've got that you've packed or something. Generally, it you know, as we do these like free to play accounts and we start working on that kind of stuff, you'll end up packing at least one good one good champion in the first couple of weeks that you'll be like, Oh my God, I want that so bad. Like I did the, the free to play account that I'm running right now, trying to take to 50. Um, I opened, I pulled Brackus in the first week of, of opening the account and it's the werewolf. It's the one I've wanted for my main account forever and could not i've never pulled him i don't have him but of course i have him on the one the free account he's he and you know it's like you don't want to you don't want to waste uh time building brackets while you're trying to get ronda to 60 but you're not going to get rid of brackets because once ronda hits 60 then you can start pumping resources into brackets but you got to get one to 60 first Got to get one to 60. Don't focus on anything else. You're going to end up playing the game for a very long time. And uh, it, it it wasting your your time in the very beginning. It comes down to like where I'm farming right now, where this is this is building those taking those four champions to level 40 is brutal 12 6 that's where you're gonna farm with Rhonda uh, that's that's where Rhonda's gonna farm when you have her either 12 3 or 12 6 depending upon how much masteries and what kind of gear you have on her uh, to be able to do it that's that's the whole focus and you you earn more XP and I'm talking about account XP to increase your account level. You earn the most of it in Brutal at 12.6. 12, 12.3 12, or 12.6, 12, either or. So that you can get to level 
40 or higher as fast as you possibly can. That's where it happens. Only pull shards on two times, not ten times. Yeah, hold the shards in the beginning. In the beginning, it is 100% important to, to not go crazy on everything. The, the bare minimum, log in each day, do the basic quests, and at least do all the basic quests every day. Seven ancients, three voids, one sacred. I just pulled them, needed food. See, I only open, I only pull shards when it's, uh, when there's a fusion or summon rush, there's a reason to pull them. I think I'm up to seven sacred now. And all of them, none of them were purchased. Those are all just coming from clan boss and milestones. And I'll hold all those for the, the next champion chase or summon rush. League tour. Close. 28. We're probably about halfway to having these all maxed. I uh, opened up... I used one of my sacred shards on the last part of the uh, champion chase. I, I had to use one of my sacreds to make sure I maxed it out. And I used one sacred and pulled a legendary, and I can't remember who it was. I kept them, though. Once these are maxed at 40, I'll look. I can't remember who I pulled. It was a legendary, and it was... I pulled a legendary and an epic. I pulled an epic on ancient shards. I needed to... I had to use some stuff uh, to get... to get me to... Um, to finish out the champion chase so that I could claim the rare for the meth bell fusion. But I didn't want to waste the sacreds. I, I had to use one and it did it did give me a legendary. So now I am I am at zero. Mercy has has been reset. The Mercy has been reset for Legendary for Sacred Shards. I am on a reset Mercy system. Zero pulls since my last Legendary. And I'm going to keep track of it moving forward. I think I'm going to do it on stream. I think I'll keep track on stream with a count that I can turn on and off. Let's just do this. So we have ancient, void, sacred. Zero, void is unknown. And ancient is unknown.
needs to be bigger than that. Okay, so there's uh That way I can keep track of it. That way I know. Keep tabs on your phone. See, that's what I'm doing. I've been waiting until I pulled a legendary to, to start keeping track. But now that I just pulled that last legendary, I know where I'm at. Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, this was another question. I've got right now there are a couple of sponsors, but I haven't picked any because I haven't looked to see if any of them would be worth doing. I'm just so sick of the whole it's all been food between cereal and hello fresh and it's all I've had lately I'm looking to see what the new sponsorship opportunities are Two possibles. Rise of Kingdoms. And World of Warships. Anybody ever played either of them? World of Warships or Rise of Kingdoms? I can't imagine myself playing them for very long it would just be for the sponsorship although I said that with raid too but I, I doubt I could do any more than that I haven't done any sponsorships in a while I the last one was um, they're PC only both of them are Rise of Kingdoms. Five viewers to participate in the promotion and complete Rise of Kingdoms City Hall Level 5. Uh, is it... Oh, it's is it mobile is rise of kingdoms a mobile game or is it PC only it says it's in the app store Designed for iPad. It's available for the iPhone. Rise of Kingdoms is actually a uh, mobile game. Might do that one. The only problem is if I do the Rise of Kingdom ones, it has to be started in two days. Uh, 
You get less clan versus clan points if you use super raids. Yes. Because it, it only comes... The clan versus clan points um, are based on the number of times you run, not the rewards you're given. Get you knew you knew here's down rise of kingdoms on PC. It's PC only. It is PC only. Damn it. Uh. Apparently we're not doing this one. Damn. No titty lamp sponsorship now. And I bet you World of Warships is the same thing. It's gotta be. Damn, that sucks. I wanted to do another I wanted I wanted to start another campaign. You know what I need? Instead of like Hello Fresh, I need like beer of the month. I never did the Star Trek one. I've never done it. I've been it's been offered a few times and it's it, I've been on vacation. I think the last one came when I was in Florida. And I've just never done it. Star Trek is mobile. That one's mobile. I need a beer of the month sponsorship. <laughs> or another raid sponsorship. That would be good. I would do if they offered a raid one again. That'd be easy. So, Cole, if you're still here, focus on Rhonda, taking Rhonda to 60. The Belgian goalkeeper died saving a penalty? How? Not because he saved the penalty. So he basically died of a heart attack. Damn. That sucks, Jesus. Man, 25 years old. Save the PK and then collapse on the field. They couldn't get they couldn't revive him. Alright, Cole. So Campaign, 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 campaign. Uh, once you get uh, somebody to 60, you're going to want to kind of split your focus between gearing the next guy up. And you'll use, in the very beginning of the game, you're going to want to focus on uh, three sets of gear. This will give you the biggest bump 
early, three sets of gear. Get everybody in lifesteal. So everybody will have four lifesteal life steal pieces and two most likely from either accuracy, which you'll also get from Dragon, or you can use um, like Critical Rate or any of the the freebies that you get from like the weekly rewards, like the um, divine, the divine gear, like divine life, divine speed, that kind of stuff, or accuracy. Um, you can also do speed. Yeah, speed, accuracy, the divines, maybe critical rate, any of the, the cheap two-piece gear sets to fill it out. <clears throat> but in the very beginning, until you start really training full squads up past level 40, or I mean above, uh, once you've got like 12 at 60, then you can really start spreading stuff out. But in the beginning, you need everybody in lifesteal. You're gonna wanna make sure everybody's got 100 crit rate and you speed as high as you can. Try to get 100% crit rate on your main champions moving forward. And then just keep grinding campaign to open and unlock all the stuff. Uh, you want to do the mine as quick as you can. If you're going to play the game for a long time, then spending to get the mine unlocked will pay for itself over time. Uh, because the mine gives you back gems but you have to spend a ton to unlock it. Uh, so it, I, I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. I think it's a hundred and some days before it starts bringing in dividends. Like it, once it goes out of the black and into the red or out of the red into the black is like a hundred and some days. It's 500 to start it. Yeah. Is it a hundred days? It's something like that before it starts building profit. But then it re eventually, once you have it maxed out, it's great profit. Uh, if you're really wanting to spend money in the game, the best, the best use of cash in raid is the raid pass. It's the monthly pass that doubles your coins and gives you all of your daily multi battles. That's the best. Uh, that's the best use of cash in game. Um, let's see what else. Uh, once you start to unlock different things, you're going to want to go into them and, and spend a ton of time on them. But don't. Don't, don't waste a bunch of resources trying to build low gear uh, don't try to build low tier champions to complete stuff that you're not ready for. What in the hell? You guys can't hear that, right? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> I had a screen open. That was the weirdest shit ever. I had another screen open that uh, I was reading about that Belgian goalkeeper. And it was in the background. And all of a sudden, the, the song by Men Without Hats... The safety dance, if you have any idea what I'm talking about, it's, it's the quintessential one hit wonder song of all time. The safety dance started playing really loudly through my through my AirPod. And I thought I, I kept waiting for like a sticker to pop up. I thought, what the hell sticker has the safety dance as the music? And I'm waiting and there's no sticker. 
and it just kept going. It was just, just the safety dance, and then all of a sudden I heard someone say, uh, "Into it, TurboTax." It was like an ad for. It was a commercial for software. Yeah, it wasn't you. No, it was a commercial in the background for Intuit TurboTax. It scared the shit out of me, though. It just must have popped up on that. It was a pop-up on that screen. It was in the background. All right, so we got everybody maxed out. Forties. Now we need to take her to five stars. This is at least letting me complete points for clan versus clan. Here she is. Thirty mil silver, only thirty mil of silver. I'm at ten mil, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay. I could just upgrade her. How much is it going to take? Fifty-two. Let's just do it here. Three hundred and sixty-four thousand and fifty-two brews. All right, so she's done and ready. That's a one. One epic for the fusion. You need to cleanse your gear. Jeez, oh, Pete's. 1300 gear. I don't know where I'm at. Let's look. I've got. I've only got 542. Once I got rid of. Um, once I got rid of everything that was under. Five star that wasn't already trained to 60 or 16. That made a big difference. We'll keep that one just to keep it. And we'll keep defense. Um... That's what's allowed me to keep my numbers. It's great until I'm trying to build somebody and I don't have any extra gear. You know what? I don't even think I've picked my clan quest yet. I forgot what day it was. Today's Tuesday. I've been so busy with work. I missed, I missed the quests. What are we going to do? What's available? This is gonna suck. Five mil damage with shields. Oh god, that takes forever. Top three positions in a tournament. Nope. Twenty plus in the spiders den with high elves. That ain't gonna happen. Hundred one hundred decrease attacks on the dragon. That I can probably do. Do I level her up to 60 or should I do that with Rhonda? I would do Rhonda, not Annie. Hold on to Annie. Hold on to Annie, but she's not going to be your best option to use as a campaign farmer. You need a you need a campaign farmer first. Don't get rid of Annie. You're going to take her to 60 eventually, probably. Just don't do it first. Let's do this one. Is that the right one? 100 decrease attacks on the dragon. That I can do. 
Decrease speed on the Fire Knight. That's probably doable. 10 debuffs. That's easy. Those are the easy ones. Uh, five legendary gauntlets in the forge. One hundred uncommon champions to rank three. God, those just take forever. You took spiderlings. I don't mess with that one. Those that thing takes forever. So what all did you guys steal from me? Two thousand spiderlings. God, this just takes so long. Um. Increase speed buffs in tag team wins only. Hmm. I could do that one. What's going to be the easiest Chris 21 and the says Spider Tournament tomorrow. But is it... Is it an actual tournament? For the fusion? Or is it like what we have right now with the dragon? Uh, high elves stage 20 I don't think I can do that demon spawn sacred order dragon slayer let's look at Spider level 20, and we can only use, what was it, High Elves? High Elves. So what would we got? What do we have here? Does anybody have Burn? Leech. Let's just throw a squad together using what we've got here. Arbiter, Atheol. Yannicka, she doesn't have anything. Shield. The Nasal. Sleep. Is it an all enemy attack? It's one enemy. I mean, buffs. Let's try to learn. Let's just see if we can win once with high elves we'll try it one time i think i don't think i'm going to be able to do it with this group not level 20 they're not there's not i don't have anybody that's going to be able to control the spider legs. And once I start attacking it, it's just going to take down. I need to look at the fusion calendar. I haven't looked at the calendar either. This isn't gonna. This won't end well. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. High elves is not gonna work. All right, so.
What's after meth bell? Nothing. We'll have like a holding pattern for the rest of the month. All right, so what do we have? Increased defense, no. Decrease speed, no, I don't wanna mess with that. Increase speed and tag team. No, I don't want to do that one, but we'll do it. Okay, so let's just take a look at the tag team and see. Increase speed. How many? Just how many will do? Then we see if we get the starters. I've I have spent a ton of time focusing on um, the the anniversary event I haven't spent any any cash on the anniversary thing but I feel like I've got to be sitting pretty close to in good shape starter you get to go for I I would love to have a kale I mean I would take anything but kale's who I really want all right let's see what how what we did here and then I probably should come back and focus on finishing out today's stuff Increase speed in tag team, and I got zero. I had nothing. Okay, so I got to figure out who's in here. Shit. I'm going to have to build three teams. Do I have speed teams in here? I don't have the speed teams in here. So let's do we'll put delete the team. Yes. Let's start with HK. Where's she at? Where is HK? Why do I not see her? Am I overlooking her? There she is. Uh, I, well, I... I sandbagged um, once I hit silver one or whatever the last requirement was I sandbagged it so my defense is, is crap just to drop down to because there was a mission that required you to beat 500 you had to beat 500 champions in tag team wins so I I sandbagged uh, that's why I dropped way down so we'll build a standard team here for the first one. We'll do HK and then Scarhide and Ninja. We'll call this Speed One. HK is at 226. She's a bit slow, but it'll be fine. Opener, HK wants Rally the Horde as her opener. 
Scar Hide is gonna decrease turns and it will do Scion Slash as his opener and Hail Burn as first priority. All right, so there's team one. Hmm. Shield comes from Fire Knight. Is it Fire Knight? I think. Okay, who else brings increased speed? Who else do I have that increases speed? Does Arbiter? Does Arbiter increase speed? I can't remember. She doesn't. Might leave her for now. Who else increases speed? Eris does. Where's she at? Here? Hmm. Does Deacon? Uh, Seeker does increase attack. Who else increases speed? Deacon's turn meter. All right, let's. Let's look at A1s for increased speed. I think decrease speed. It's not buffs. Burn dig. Cavalex is all poisons. I don't think there's any decrease speed. Uh, everybody's it's decrease speed I'm trying to remember who increases speed 30% okay so skill is one on the passive iron brago is a no Increase defense. Increase speed. I need buffs. Increase speed buffs. Cubitus looks like he should increase speed. Increase attack. Damn it. Valkyrie. Um, Demi, no. Seer, no. I don't. Man Eater is a no. No, no, no. Seeker does increase attack. Gore grab is increase attack. There's decrease attack and weaken. Uh, crit damage. Crit rate, increased speed. Okay, so Helmo is another one. Kimmy does. Helma is a positive. Grizzled Jarl doesn't. He's a cleanser. Heal reduction. Increased defense. Allure is no. Royal Guard is a no. Decrease speed. Stagnite. The Stagnite? Decrease speed. God damn it. HK does. Sky Touch Shaman is a no. Rengi provokes stun. Strengthen and shield. 
And Toragi has Provoke. Even if it was just on themselves, it would help. Decrease speed. Dark Ethel. Decrease. Increase speed on this champion. So Dark Ethel. Apothecary. I don't think I have Apothecary trained. I've got him. I just don't have him to do anything with. The Deacon does not have reach decrease at turn meters. Damn it. Painkeeper is cooldowns. Paragon is increase attack. I feel as she's nothing. Increase crit rate. Eris is a positive, right? Eris has increased speed. Uh, gear grinders, revivers, continuous heal. Frozen banshees, all poison sensitivity. Uh, Kale, no. Skullsworn does. Skullsworn does on his A2. It's personal. Uh, Muckraker is decrease. Sleep. It's sleep. Armager, no. Old Hermit is increase attack. Mithrella has increased attack. Ultimate Gaelic is HP burn. Wait, is it increased attack? Increased attack. No speed. All right, let's see what we can actually, I might just throw in. Who else do we have? That I'm trying to remember. Come on. We can. Do we have anyone else? Renegade. Hmm. This might be enough to get it running. All right, so we have team one, speed one has HK. Two, we're gonna have Eris. Let's do Arbiter. We'll put Arbiter in here. Harris and Skulls Worm. And someone who hits hard. Let's do Royal Guard. So this is speed two. Arbiter 304, 266, 187. So Destiny's call, she's gonna. Do mentor is the opener. Destiny's Call. Eris, 
266 is second. She has for all allies. Skullsworm is going to do Cry for Blood, obviously. This is Opener. Royal Guard is going to attack all enemies. So there's Speed 2. And then Speed 3. going to be how do we start this let's do Cavalax and skill helmet and dark Let's see if we can speed three, 246, 245. So he's going to start out with, we'll do block damage just to get things moving. Winds of the pit will be his second time around. Archmage is next and he is obviously going to throw down increased speed on everybody. Then we come around to kill the drakes. Can she speed anything up? Stun, decrease speed. We'll do all enemies. And then Dark Atheel is going to only if she kills four more enemies. isn't going to help me any here. Let's take her out and put in a nuker. Let's put in Seer and have her run Karma Burn to open and see if those three can bring me in some numbers. All right. We need increased speed. So there's four. Eight. And twelve. All right, so that should have been 12. Fourteen. Fourteen. We need 200. Oh, my God, this is going to take forever. It's going to take forever. Uh... 100 decrease attacks on the dragon layer stage 22 is not going to be fun. We need to set that up too. Let's look and see what has to be finished for today though. Summon three classic arena five times. We're going to lose this one. Let's just see what happens, though. Damn, how much resist does she have? Oh, my God. We're definitely going to lose this one. 
all that continuous heal. She's just going to rebuild everything before I can do any damage. I have an hour left. This is going to be a dead one. There's no way I can get her six in continuous heals. Yeah, this is going to be a forfeit. I'm going to sit here and deal with it. I don't think... I do have a team built. I need five total. There's two. Number three. It's going better. Two more, two more, and I don't want to have to wait for a reset. Can I get, this one will be close. Who gets first turn? So her Arbiter is running at least 305. Damn, destroyed. One more. That wasn't even competitive. All right, there it is. Five are done. Summon three. We'll just do it the easy way and just do three. go oh that one's done just knocking out the daily quests in this is so much more satisfying than anything that we get in the other game just being able to just feel like you're making progress somewhere is such a it's so much better Um, I already maxed all this stuff out. Let's just take a two star and throw two in it. Damn, it wasn't enough. There. 
artifact and accessory. We haven't looked at who I pulled. Who the... Um, I don't remember what legendary I yanked. sad is that I can't remember who I pulled. How to earn silver. Uh, there's Farming is the easiest way to pull silver in. Uh, once you find an area where you can farm, um, it, it comes quickly. What is the red dot in index? That's just... Uh, the red dots just showing you that you pulled somebody that you don't know that you haven't looked at yet. Well, tickle mutterdies. Games with Dustin oh. just resubscribed for 28 months. Man, 28 months already. I think that deserves you shaving off your beard on stream. Shaving off my beard on stream. That would be... I don't even... That would be such a strange... I, I shaved off the mustache not that long ago. And nobody even noticed. Nobody around here noticed. Um... Is, uh... If natural playstyle of any hero is attack, so we will focus on attack masteries for him or no, no, that's not exactly how it's set up. Uh, masteries are ba based on what their what their skills are, so you'll adjust it based on that. I don't think anybody would want to see me shave off the beard. Thanks for the. 28 months, Dustin. Damn. That is a long damn time. Alright, first one's complete. Two more champions there. Single faction for... We'll wait until that resets. Uh, you, you basically have to look and see, like, do they need accuracy? Then you're going to want to focus on the health. You're going to work on life if they need... Um, if they're attack and it's all about damage, then you're going to go the second route. You'll do work on like crit rate and crit damage in the first tier. Uh, the easiest thing to do, though, is to search it. Google the champ. Go to Hell Hades and see what masteries the website suggests. That will help you more than just guessing where you want to put it. Do a Google for the champion, go to Hell Hades, and the masteries that they suggest are listed there. And they're usually pretty close. I honestly don't know how you can play Raid without Hell Hades' website. Is it better to train every one star hero to three or six stars? As food um, it depends uh, I I use the I use the one-star champions more for their uh, training up other one stars than I do anything T 
team of the year may be the greatest event ever. The greatest event and make people quit the game. Yeah. It's not getting any better either. And the only thing we got to look forward to is the ultimate, the ultimate release. I, you'll kind of come to your own conclusion on what you do with one star. What you'll do with the one star champions. Uh, I, I will use one. I will train like uh, 12. I think it's no. 15, 15 one stars go into another one star to take it to 10. So, like, if I'm just wasting mystery shards to unlock stuff, looking for uncommons or rares, that's what I'll do. I'll just use them for XP. Uh, if we're in the middle of a champion training event, then I may train them one time. Uh, I'll train them one time just for the points in that tournament. Because you do get a decent amount of points, even for training one stars to seven. One time, it does make a difference. Yeah, so that tag team is done. What do we need? Three accessories from dungeons. We need ice golem on 15 or higher with a load of, this might work. Let's just try this one time and see if we can get 10 debuffs. Say that again about training one stars. Okay, for me, if I have three to 400 mystery shards, what I'll do is just take a one star and throw three or four other one stars into it every day is, and just use it to complete the um, in, you know, increased levels in the tavern every day. Uh, it takes 15 one stars trained into another one star to take it to level 10. So if you're just trying to clear space in your champions, if you're doing like a rush of, you know, pulling a bunch of ancient shards and stuff like that, or you're just specifically looking for rares or whatever, you can just train the one stars into the other one stars to get rid of them. Uh, yeah, you get to the stage where you just concentrate on the three and fours. I still do the twos, though. But when when the ones and the two stars, the the common and uncommon come into play is during the champion training events. Because you get a ton of points. Even training one and two stars. One time, so you throw them into your campaign farm. And play it one time and it'll take them all up to level six or level seven and you get points for all of those levels. It's as many points as what you get for taking like a three star from 17 to 18. You get the same amount of points in your champion training by taking one stars and using the same amount of energy and training them there. That's when they come into play. Uh, but also, like Chris said, you'll you you can use it to kind of fill in the gaps uh, when you're only missing a little bit of XP. Did I get did I get my debuffs? Did they come through? Did I complete the quest? Wasn't that what the clan? Wasn't that what the quest was? Ten. 10 debuffs on Ice Column. I didn't get it. What the hell happened?
Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. God damn it. What, what did I miss here? Let's turn off. Telecast will leave. Arbiter. Let's get rid of Seer and we'll put in. Let's put in. Tomb Lord. We just need 10 debuffs before it ends out. See, I put all of my food in my main one. I don't mess with... Uh, the vaults are all secondary tier stuff for me. And I lock everybody I don't want to, I, I'm not using for food. They automatically get locked. Okay, so there's five. Let's just focus on Ice Golem to begin with. Six. Seven. Need three more. Two more. Two more debuffs. There they are. So now I'm good. Just trying to complete the quest to get it finished. Yo no. Happy Valentine's Day. That reminds me, I've been on for a couple hours. I need to be getting off here. Uh Yeah, let's get this quest done. There it is. Now that should have completed. Yeah, clan quest is done. Oh, we need dragon. That was the other one. We need to build a team for dragon. Tell me if that league channel on Discord works. I want to know that it's working properly. I'm still... Uh, I've relied on Ruben for so long to do all the, the Discord server work. And now trying to take it over is has been a little... It's been a, there's been a learning curve. Uh, decrease attack on the dragon. Let's do decrease attack on the dragon. What does my dragon team look like? Who's bringing decrease attack? Anyone? Last dragon, does anybody have decreased attack? Rail guard, decreased defense, decreased speed. These are all buffs and stun. Seer is weaken, and Draco is weaken and decreased defense. So I have no decrease attacks in this build. Uh, Rector. Let's take out. Helicath. 
Everybody's got decreased attack. Um, decreased speed. 80% chance of decreased attack on all enemies for two turns. Watch your draft. It's just A1, right? Let's just throw Rector Draft in and see what this goes. Means I'm gonna have to do this thing 200 times. Oh. Remove debuff champs. Ah, uh, a cleanser. There's multiple. It, it, to find one that it's it's kind of just what do you have? There's great ones. They're just hard to come by. Who are? What are you trying to take on? Pythion, Pythion cleanses too. I don't think Kinsey has Pythion though. Or do you? Decrease attack is what we're looking for. I think I need to put in, there's one. I don't have to do this thing 200 times though. Minute 48, God, so slow with I might add in, let's throw, let's take out, mm. if I get decreased attack out of Here, decrease attack, decrease defense. Let's put in Madam Saris and see if that changes it. Gonna need time. I haven't even looked at the optimizer yet. This is so slow. All right, so how much decrease attack? I want at least two. You think I can get a fast seer with 250 crits damage? I just don't have very much gear. Decrease attack. Where are we at? Come on.
I need some increased accuracy because right now there's decreased attack. lot more gear yeah I I'll this weekend if I get the time I'll check out the optimizer I've had so many different things going on here lately that I just haven't had the opportunity to put much time into more than just staying afloat what do I need here Three World Cup or National Heroes players. Well, that's what I've got. I've got three World Cup or National Heroes players. Unless they're saying that... How many do we get here? My brain is expanding. All right. What do we have? That should be able to complete most of this stuff. I still have a half hour yet. I've got to... God, I've got... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all this stuff done. Okay. Multi-battles... I have to send an artifact? That's going to take a while. And... Do I at least... I mean, at least... I have two incre decrease attack. Two decrease attack and I need a hundred. That's going to take forever. All right, what can I do? What's the fastest way to go about this? Doom Tower, Faction Wars boss, Classic Arena, single battle. Okay, so that's where I'm going to have to end it. It is Valentine's Day. Uh, thanks for hanging out. This is going to be... I don't know if I can get this shit done. This is, gonna, this is a lot of stuff to do. It seemed like I, I had plenty of time, but it's uh, the time is getting away from me. We're already at 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Ugh. This was fun. It was fun. We do have plans for tonight. Valentine's Day plans. And I didn't really completely forget. I had just given her a present before Valentine's Day. And I had a card all set. I had, I had, I was golden today. I was in good shape. I made it out to be like I wasn't, but I was okay. I'm not like sleeping in the yard tonight or anything. Uh, what did I get her? Um, she's been wanting our she's been wanting our bedroom remodeled. Not remodeled. She wanted it redecorated. So I went all in and got her a bunch of stuff that she had asked for. And like new shelving and like uh, electric candles to make it, to give it some ambiance, that kind of stuff. New blinds, and then I installed everything today, so it looks nice. She was happy with it. It was easy, easy, because it was all stuff that I eventually was gonna have to do, and 
I just did it before she asked for it. She was very happy with that. All right. That's where we're going to end it. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Probably about the same time as today. Um, back on uh, a couple hours after FIFA Mobile Reset. We'll start out with FIFA Mobile and then we'll, we'll bump into Raid again and see where we're at. Uh, we have more stuff opening up. Meth Bell is coming to a conclusion here before we know it. It's not a very long fusion. We've had some really long fusions. It is not going to be a really long fusion compared to some of the other ones. Uh, and, and we're on target with that. Plus, we have the fourth anniversary still to kind of play through and see what's going on. As soon as all that's done, my next focus is 100% going to have to be Faction Wars. Since everybody else is all claiming their champion, I don't want to be far left behind. Lydia will be next for me. We'll see what we have to do to claim her. All right, thanks a lot for hanging out. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep streaming.